Well, the previous video was Ghost Moon, so now imagine that a billion, a few billion years have gone by, and that newborn star has grown up and turned into a red giant. Um, so now we're going to do, instead of Ghost Moon, because it's now really hot, we're going to do Roast Moon, and we'll start with the star layer, I'll call it Orange Giant, and we'll make it a kind of orangey colour and um, I'll make its uh, edge a lot harder. So just let's actually let's see what it did look like before it was round about like that. So now you can imagine as time goes on and the thing that this and the star matures and gets super hot. So this is the thing that's going to roast our moon. And then moon shadow is the next layer. I'm just going to build this the same way as we did the last one. Black in the center really dark grey at the edge and turn it into a hard edged disc like this make it a lot smaller and then move it out of the way so we can see that star peeking around now I can't see where the centre is and I'd like I'd like the centre to be just off the corner there so I'm just going to reduce the opacity curve so we can see where the centre is, there it is in fact it was actually it wasn't badly placed that's about right, put the opacity curve back where it was and then to give it a bit of body we, we did a blue, a kind of blue shading on the on the last one, let's do a red one this, this time so I'm going to add red moon and let's just look at this layer on its own I'm just going to turn off everything but the selected one I want this to be a small disc of, dark, of a faint dark red so small first, make it smaller. Uh, a disc, so we make its edge hard, and I'll, I'll make the colour curve pretty hard too. It's about the right size. Uh, faint, we said. So to make it faint, we drop the opacity down, and then I said dark red, so we'll drop the value, the values down at the centre and, and the edge. So it's, re it's really faint now and dark red, which is what we wanted. So let's bring the other layers back. Now ju I'll just move it over the top of the shadow, so it looks like a, a pl you know a moon with a bit of shape to it. And then the last layer I'm going to put on is white flare, and just drop the drop the saturation down, leave the value super high and that makes it white at the center and at the edge and then make it smaller um, and move it back a couple of layers so it's behind the moon, it's in front of the star but behind the moon and then just nudge it somewhere where it looks good, let's uh, back off a bit and look at it so that's, that's about what I was going for, maybe a little bit closer yeah, so that looks nice and roasted. Let me nudge it back a little. Now, and you know, you can keep experimenting and playing, and let's uh, let's look where it was like. I'm just going to take it back in time a bit and cool it off. And then, of course, you need to adjust the white, the flare, so you can see the moon, uh, so you can see the star. Uh, but then the red bit's probably a bit too. It's not faint enough. You know, so you can play around and uh, get some effects you like. Maybe bring that back a bit, move it around, get some good effects. All right, well we'll leave it at that for now.